Hi, I am Kajir on two wheels and let's hang on warning the following video is going to have a lot of swearing So let's talk about the huge clusterfuck that was the Google Plus integration into YouTube as you oh, might have know might have noticed So here's the deal uh, if you don't have a Google Plus account, now you cannot comment on YouTube. And that's not the problem. So this is how the story begins. Some time ago, a few months ago, uh, YouTube started asking uh, creators or channel owners if they wanted to integrate with Google Plus. At the time I resisted for a while, but then since I knew what was going to happen eventually, I decided to go for it. And so I integrated my Google my YouTube account with Google Plus. Which immediately went weird. So here's the deal. I have two emails. One for my personal email, the other one I did just so I could create a second YouTube channel because previously you could not have two channels with the same uh, email so I had to use two emails, two channels it's okay, all the notifications go to this secondary email channel so it actually is a good idea now, as soon as I integrated with Google Plus it created a new page with that other email, the secondary email problem is the new page it created defaulted straight into my real name and I was not too happy about that so for a little while if you went into the associated Google Plus page with my channel it had my real name on it changing it was quite a core and eventually I did it by changing my name because it, it insisted on displaying first name last name so I changed my first name last name into Chuck Norris then it kind of understood and started using my YouTube name don't know why apparently it doesn't like Chuck Norris and I just left it there idling along and didn't really care much about the page it's not that I hate Google Plus it's just that since no one's there it's really not a good medium to share stuff through but meh, let it be and then came the announcement that integration, the comments, would be using the Google Plus platform. Which at first I thought was actually a good idea. Because the Google Plus platform is better. Te technically speaking is better. It allows for a lot more stuff, so... Should be good. Also, you'd be using one login for everything, so... Okay, it makes sense. Doesn't seem to be a bad idea. And it isn't. The implementation, though? was a complete clusterfuck apparently implemented by a couple of fucktards high on something seriously it's the worst rollout I have ever seen in this industry ever retarded first off they did not think of the problems or plan ahead for the problems of having YouTube commenting system comments mixed with G plus comment system comments which resulted in people not being a, either a not being able to comment at all or not being able to reply or when they replied they cannot see who they replied to there's a whole range of problems with this implementation that you can see online and it's an ever-ending treasure treasure trove of buttons that do nothing and new pages being opened and it's it's hideous seriously but even if that's all okay, and it's not, and that's mainly what makes people foam at the mouth, there are a couple of really, really stupid ideas with this. Really stupid idea number one, allowing links in the comments. Good. The only thing I like about this is that since we don't have any video response anymore, uh, we can now do video responses by simply commenting our videos on the comments. And even better, it says there it's a YouTube video, so you know exactly. It, it gives you the, the title for the YouTube video instead of the link. So you can post a YouTube link and it says the title of the video you've just linked. So they just brought back video responses with all the problems video responses had, like 
uh, cam girls and stuff like that. Second problem is they are allowing not only links but any links, including obfuscated links, which are those tiny links you use. Oh, you're going to see me fuel now, which are those tiny links you use to shorten a big link, and that stops anyone from seeing what's actually been linked for hilarious results so far and spam and viruses and whatnot so that's a really 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 fucking stupid idea seriously what the fuck were you guys doing have you gone brainless suddenly <sighs> third problem is no limit to the comment i tried to post the whole game of thrones book one at once didn't work gave an error not bad but someone posted the braveheart uh, script and it worked so that's <laughs> smart again okay no limits is not a good thing but the short limit before was also not a good thing uh, I'm kind of iffy on that especially because it shortens the, the link and then hello can I fuel please it's a bike I'm not going to take much time uh, while I wait uh, so that's not much of an issue it's just a, a quirk uh, another problem is, for some reason, sometimes you cannot see who you replied to. It doesn't thread as it should. Another conceptual problem is now, instead of having the newest comments on top, you have the most popular ones on top. Or whatever the algorithm thinks is the most popular one on top. Which makes no sense, because usually when you go into video you want to see the latest ones, not the ones that some celebrity put on top okay let's it could have two two tab like one with top comments and the other one with the other ones on chronological or oh wait that's how it was before <sighs> fucktards seriously so people are foaming at the mouth so as i was saying actually they could have done this in a much better way which was simply to to say as people started logging on to youtube saying hi i can see you have no hi since we have now this new commenting system we've created to you for you a new google plus page using your youtube name so you can go right ahead and use the comments as always would you like to ch to change that google plus page to your personal google plus page yes no that freaking simple of course being simple means they didn't do it <laughs> you fucked arts idiots actually this it's so simple this whole integration just makes me cringe because i am a an it guy and every time i have to work with that integration i just see so many things wrongly put together so so many I now even have a, a bigger problem, uh, or a uh, more annoying problem, in that it keeps asking me to do a YouTube channel. I already have two of those, okay? Every time I log on, log on to YouTube, now it stopped suddenly. But until this commenting fuck up, whenever I would log on to YouTube, and it would, it, it would say, hey, I can see you have a Google Plus page, would you like to make a Google cha uh, YouTube channel? Uh, dude, I already have two of them. At first I clicked yes because I thought that was the way to connect it to my YouTube, my Google, uh, my YouTube channels. But no, then I had three instead of two. What a mess. And then whenever I wanted to comment I have to choose from the drop down box which one I want to choose. And all three of them have the same thumbnail. So it was annoying. Annoying. A lot. Oh, the fuck? The fuck my lights go? Jesus. the hell was this <laughs> that was scary don't you ever do that again lights I think my HID kit isn't much <laughs> isn't very good because that was really bad light is good but turn lights off suddenly is just not good at all I don't know if you can see anything but this is that twisty road I showed you a couple of months back in the summer yet this time at night and it is very cool so yeah uh, YouTube fucktarding around with a really stupid integration would it be so hard for them to, s to say okay 
do you want to connect this to to Google Plus page? Yes, no. Okay, that's the page, and that's it. Why, in the name of all that's holy, if I log on to YouTube with a Google Plus page, why did they want ask me time and time again if I wanted to make a YouTube channel? Or when I entered YouTube, they kept asking me if I wanted to make a YouTube channel. It got to a point where I just had to say yes, and it would create yet another uh, YouTube channel. And then after I said yes, I would go and delete that channel every time I got into YouTube. Ah, that was so annoying. They fixed that. But these kinds of things, especially when you have a couple of million users, are supposed to be fixed before they go live. That's what, I don't know, testing is about, or even alphas and betas. You choose a few users, a few trusted users, a few users that you know are going to complain. Someone who has complained loudly in the past and tell them, listen, uh, we would really like you to try this out. But, uh, I don't understand how a corporation the size of Google can do a mistake like this, especially one that usually and historically has made perfect products right off the bat. No, let's just completely fuck up one of our best products. Just completely fuck it up. Let's integrate a very good product with a very good product that no one uses just because no one uses and fuck up both of them because now no one wants Google Plus because of this stupid integration because people are annoyed with the service and people that are annoyed with the service go away from that service. Remember MySpace? Remember High Five? <laughs> Take notice. Jesus. I'm beginning to get the feeling that the money is beginning to talk louder than the guys that actually know how to do stuff at Google, which is never, ever a good thing. Okay, you're out.